Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So in this one we are going to look at how we can create this sniper crosshair for our first person character. As you can see I'm able to hold my right mouse button and go to this zooming state and by releasing it I can go back. So let's jump right in and see how we can set this mechanism. Alright, the first step is to grab a sniper crosshair PNG. You can just Google and find uh, a crosshair that you like and download it, or you can just create it in Photoshop. Uh, here is the one that I'm going to use. Just uh, remove everything behind the crosshair so we can look through it, and also make sure that the edges are clean so it looks good in Unreal. Then uh, export a PNG and import it into Unreal. Here it is and now we need to add it to our viewport and after that we need to set the zooming system. Here we need to create a widget blueprint. So right click, go to user interface and widget blueprint. Let's name it sniper crosshair and open it up. Here search for canvas, drag it in next add an image and now what we're going to do is to uh, assign the png that we imported into this image so let's scale it up anchor it like this and zero out all of these offsets now just drag your png on this image and that's it we can also make it a little bigger so it completely covers our screen when we change the screen size. So for example, set this on minus 50 and it will look like this. Alright, now we need to add it to the viewport. So go to your BP first person character and here we need to define a key. We are going to use the enhanced input system. So just uh, go to the first person blueprint and here in this folder create an input. Just right click, go to the inputs and input action. Name it aim and that's it. So I'm going to delete this because I have done this before and here it is. Then open up this IMC default, here add a mapping and then select your aim key. Now you can define the key that you want to use to zoom in and out. So I'm going to set it on my right mouse button, but of course you can use any other keys as well. All right, now we are able to use this key to give input to our first person character. So here right click, type aim, and here it is. Now we need to use this key to add the widget to our viewport. So just drag a wire, search for create widget, and then here select the widget we made. Next, add it to the viewport and that's it. Don't forget to plug in the target and now you can see that when I hold my right mouse button, I have this crosshair on my screen. We also want to be able to zoom out by releasing the key. So here drag off a wire from this completed output and search for remove widget from parent. Then plug in the widget to the target and now you can see that when I release the key I can go back. Here actually there is no zooming happening and we just adding this uh, crosshair to the screen. So in order to have a real zoom we need to add another function to the blueprint. Here just uh, drag your first person camera into the event graph and search for set field of view 
our default field of view is 90 so for example if we set it on 35 it means that when we hold the key the field of view will be set on 35 and this can actually create a zoom effect and then when we release it we want to set it back on 90 so just copy this function plug it in and set it on 90 also plug in the targets and now you can see that uh, we have a real zoom when we hold the right mouse button yeah that's it guys and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you next time